All right, welcome back everybody. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can create this zoomed in blurred background look, which can be very useful if you're using an odd aspect ratio that isn't 16 by nine, such as a webcam, or if you're shooting vertically with a cell phone. Without further ado, let's jump right into the video and see how you can make this in just a couple of clicks. All right, so as you can see, I have a video imported into DaVinci Resolve already. I've played around with the zoom in position just so I can get roughly a four by three aspect ratio, just so we can see how this is going to pan out for us. So DaVinci Resolve has actually created a preset for this now. So all you have to do is go into the toolbox section, open effects, filters, resolve effects, and then we can scroll down until we find this one right here, the blanking fill. Click and drag and drop that right onto your footage. And you can already see something happening around the edges here. From there, you just have to make sure that our video clip is selected. You'll know it is because it's going to be highlighted in red. And then we can go up into the top right corner and click on effects. Make sure the blanking fill is selected in case you have multiple effects. And then we can start stretching it out. So in most instances, stretching to the timeline is going to work, but because I cropped and had some other things happening, it doesn't work for me. So I'm going to change this to manual. And we can already see it's taking up most, but not all of my screen. So I'm just going to click this slider and expand it out until it takes up the amount of screen that I'd like. We can change the aspect ratio. So one to one is basically going to be by the same width just zoomed in. If I go this way, it's going to stretch it horizontally. If I go the other way, it's going to stretch it vertically. So I'm just going to leave it at one for this example. We can blend the edges, which I personally don't like. We can change the blur strength of the background to be completely clear at zero or a complete blurred mess at one. I'm going to leave it somewhere in the middle and we can change the fade amount, which is going to be how, how much white is blurred into that background color. So I'm going to keep it right around there. It even allows us to create a drop shadow around our main video really easily. So I'm just going to increase the drop distance there. And I think that looks pretty good right as it is. Now, in case you wanted to have this not be the only thing on the video and blend something else in behind, you can turn down the blend. I really don't see why anybody would do such a thing. But if you have a used case, let me know. I personally don't see a use for it. But anyway, it's that easy to do now. You no longer have to create a duplicate effect or go into fusion. You no longer have to blur it yourself, mask things out. Pretty straightforward how to do it now. Click and drag and then switch it to manual and expand as you need it. All right, and there you go. If you are shooting in a vertical aspect ratio or if you're using a webcam that does four by three, this is a perfect way to fill in the edges to get you to that 16 by nine aspect ratio that's sort of become the standard for all media. And if you like the video, make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any future content. Until next time, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye now.